Hey everyone, it's your boy Graphic back with another video and today we're going to be looking at what makes you the most money when gathering. There's a lot of different resources you can gather in Albion Online and we're going to look at which ones make you the most profit. Uh, first off, I would like to mention it does kind of base uh, and kind of depend on where you start on the map. Um, if you guys zoom out on your map real quick, and we won't go over too many tips for gathering as this is more about what makes you the most profit. Uh, we do have gathering tips in previous videos, so make sure you check those out. But if you're looking to, you know, gather and you're in Bridgewatch, say, you're going to find a lot more skinning um, it's material here. You're going to find a lot more hide. Um, and then, obviously, if you're in Martlock or um, maybe even Limhurst, you're going to find a lot more trees than you would if you were in uh, Fort Sterling. Fort Sterling, you're going to find a lot more rock and ore. It's just... Based on the biome, you're going to have more uh, more of that resource available to you. So what I would do is kind of see what resource you're going to go and go to that biome so that you're collecting more of that resource and have an easier time there. Uh, but what I would like to get back to is uh, gathering and what makes you the most money, like I said previously. Um, when you go to the marketplace, I'm in Carleon Marketplace, guys. I'm going to show you guys the live prices of each individual tier and I have a little document in Excel sheet that's going to be in the description below as well if you guys do want to click on that I will bring it up here in a second for you guys to see all the details uh, I did take the time to get tier 1 through tier 8 and get it on a document for you guys so you can see the price difference um, the 8.2's and 8.23's uh, and 8.1's those will be different prices obviously those will be a lot higher uh, than the regular 8.0 but you got to remember, um, they will be pretty equally jumping from 8 to 8, 1, 8, 2, 8, 3 across all resources. Um, they will jump about the same percentage. So you just take off that part of the factor and you will actually understand what's going on here. So if that made any sense to you, that last 10 seconds, I, I kind of jumbled a little bit there. But basically what I wanted to show you guys is, you know, the difference between fiber, hide, and ore and I think there's rocks slash stone. I know some people call it stone, um, which is going to have a crazy tier 8 price, by the way. Marble is insanely rare. Um, and then you're going to have wood. And obviously there's going to be positives and negatives to each uh, resource and each gathering resource. I know if you are gathering skinning, uh, if you're skinning, not really gathering skinning, if you are skinning and you're gathering hide, um, you're going to have a struggle with maybe staying you know healthy before you get ganked so that's the difference between some negatives and positives is skinning you're going to be that uh kind of viable to ganks so you're going to be available for people to gank you non-stop as you're going to be off your horse and you're going to be in attack uh combat mode and you're going to possibly even be weak so there's obviously positives and negatives like i said previously to all of these you know um each each resource has has the positive and negatives but the profit you can make from some of these resources uh, can be insane. So we're going to take a look now at the chart I have. Um, whoops, not the right button. We're going to take a look at the chart I have here. And uh, I will have this Excel sheet in the description below. Um, what I basically did is I went through the tiers, each individual tier for each resource. So I have fiber, hide, or rock, slash stone, and wood. And we went from tier 1 through tier 8. Um, and this is in Carleon, the main auction house in the entire map, in the entire world. So it should be pretty close to this in every zone or biome. Uh, but this is what we ended up coming up with. And I do have a few uh, charts for you guys as well. I got the uh, little bar, bar graph here. Um, and I've got the uh, line graph over here and then another bar graph. What we're going to have over here is a 4 through 8 tier uh, because... It is a little bit easier to see, as you can tell, in these first two. It's kind of hard to really understand what's going on bef before uh, Tier 4. But that's okay, because most of the time, you don't really care about any gathering, um, you know, the profit you make, until about Tier 6. Tier 6 is where you start making a lot of money. Tier 5 is even, you know, a possibility to make good money. But really, Tier 6 and Tier 7 is where you start to make a lot of bank. And we're going to kind of show you guys the difference in... Uh, profit that you can really make because fiber you're making you know you're making a great great profit at uh, tier 8 compared to ore and wood wood is actually at the lowest at tier 8 uh, I would say it's one of the safest safest to gather to be honest so I would assume that's one of the reasons but ore is actually pretty considerably even 
uh, for how many players actually mine ore. I've seen so many mining ore and so many people actually doing hide as well that if you go into like a tier, you know, five zone and there it's a yellow zone or a tier, uh, you know, four zone and you see like a ton of players doing hide compared to pretty much every other resource in my mind, I, I just can't get over the fact that there's that many players doing hide right now and it's the prices are staying solid. Uh, but obviously the one big thing that everyone's going to note is the amount of rock slash stone you're going to be able to profit off of with 10,900 per piece of rock or stone. So that's going to be crazy. Uh, tier 8 is very rare to find and you know, you're know you going to have struggles there, but it's a lot, a lot of silver per per stone. So I mean, that's definitely something to take into consideration when you're looking at this is you know the profit you're going to make uh there are other positive negatives like i said in previous videos i do go over those this is more f uh, for you guys to look at and just kind of look at the profits that you can make uh doing what resource and you know what what's the viable option for you really um what what sounds the best to you i know fibers uh you know the prices have been stable for pretty much all of these and fibers up until tier eight Fiber's kind of leading the charge. I don't know if you guys noticed that. Fiber's ahead of every every uh, other resource up until tier 7. Tier 7, it barely gets taken the lead by Hyde. But then it takes the lead right back from Hyde right there. Um, Fiber's an underrated resource for me because I think it's actually one of the easiest uh, and fastest and quickest ones to level because you have safe spots to do it in. There's a lot of actually good places to to get your fiber. And, you know, like I said, hide's going to be one of the most, most difficult. For some reason, there's so many people that want to do it, probably because you're leveling combat skills and resource gathering at the same time. So that would be a, one reason. But you're going to notice that the prices are just going to be outrageous, like I said, for rock slash stone uh, tier 8. And you're going to notice with ore too, though, at tier 7, you're getting, some, you're getting some bad money at tier 7. So based on these results... Um, if, if I was looking at this as a new player, you know, I would immediately knock out ore because of the price that it goes from tier seven is just so low. You're not making any money until tier eight. So if you're a new player, that's, that's a really rough, rough start for you. Uh, wood doesn't have a great out, uh, what do you call it? Outlook. It doesn't look like it's going to be raising anytime soon as everyone just kind of goes straight into wood as it's pretty simple and it's very common. Um, and you can tell that with the price on the T8 stuff. Um, but that kind of leaves me with hide, fiber, and rock slash stone. And when I look at these three, I kind of want to say hide is a no-go. But at the same time, if you're a new player, hide is so nice because you are able to level your, you know, abilities up. Or not your abilities, but your weapons up. And, you know, you're able to level your gear while you're leveling your resource gathering. So that's, that is a plus to, or a positive to hide uh, for sure. But... You know, fiber and stone are just very, very solid options. Um, and I, you know, I don't really have a, an option to choose out of these three. But I would suggest if you're looking to be a main on gathering, uh, fiber and stone is definitely the safest bet and obviously makes you the most money. So this is just a little overview of, you know, resource gathering and what you could really make from resource gathering. And these are the prices right now of 530 2019. If you guys are watching this at a different date, just note that this can change and will change throughout the year. Uh, the game, the game is always constantly changing. You know, tomorrow the demand may change and rock slash stone <laughs> might be the lowest. Uh, probably not going to happen, but it's very, very possible that uh, things can change around during the year. So I do want you guys to realize. Um, that this isn't set in stone this stuff will change and like i said i hope you guys like this video and you know if you're looking for other gathering tips i do have other videos on that and just leave a comment below if this video was helpful to you or insightful or you know you like the kind of overview or i talk too much give me give me some uh constructive criticism you guys have been giving me a lot of that recently and it's been helping me make better videos i think uh personally it's, you know, I, I want to get better at making videos for you guys as, you know, you guys are finding things that, you know, I can step up and improve on. So just let me know in the comments below. I'll leave the link in the description for this Excel sheet. And uh, thanks a lot, guys, for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.